we are here together with many other groups uh, in support of Palestine. We uh, promote the end of this occupation, and especially now when there's so much news going around about what is unfolding in Palestine. We have to understand that nothing that we witness today starts today. This is a conflict which started 75 years ago. Before the invention of Zionism, before this, invent, this idea of, the, of this Jewish state in Palestine, Jews lived in peace as a minority amongst a majority of Muslims, and we didn't have a problem. We were respected and we were protected by the Muslims. Once this invention of Zionism came in, it destroyed everything by this occupation, which is for decades oppressing an entire people and an indigenous population, which unfortunately destroyed the peace and led into this bloody conflict on the account of all peoples involved. If we are truly concerned of tragedies, if we are truly concerned of bloodshed, if we are truly concerned of suffering of all sides involved, we have to realize, we have to study what is behind all of this, what is the root cause of this conflict. This is not a war based on the difference of religion. We lived in peace, as I said, we lived in peace despite any differences of our religions, and still we live in peace. It is a purely political conflict. It's a purely Zionist movement, which happens to be in total contrast of Judaism. In other words, the Zionist side of the conflict, the Israeli side of the conflict, has nothing to do with the Jewish religion, other than it is in total contrast of the Jewish religion. It does not represent the Jewish religion. Unfortunately, the Jewish religion is being misused by people who choose not to follow that religion and still they dare to, you, to misuse that religion to condone all crimes forbidden by that very religion. The occupation of Palestine is a true violation of international law and a violation of Jewish law, killing, stealing, oppressing an entire people. All of this is totally forbidden according to Judaism. It happens to be that the actual concept of building a sovereign homeland for Jews happens to be uh, in contrast to the basics of Jewish belief. But after all, when the state of Israel insists that they call themselves the state of Israel, the Jewish state, this is criminal because they are doing all their crimes in my name, in the name of my religion, which is a true uh, danger to the Jewish people and a true desecration of God. The anti-Zionist community in Palestine prefers to be under a Palestinian rule rather under the Zionist occupation of state of Israel. Because the state of Israel is not only criminal, it is not only inflicting so much suffering to the Palestinian people, but is truly endangering the Jewish people as well. The state of Israel or the Israeli Defense Force is not here to support the Jewish people. They're, they are here to support a movement, a national movement of Zionism on the account of everyone involved. Unless we realize that the occupation of Palestine to begin with is wrong, is criminal, is criminal according to Jewish teachings as well, unless we admit that all of this is wrong, we would never come to a proper solution. All what we are facing today, all suffering on all sides of the country, whether it's Palestinians being oppressed for so long, whether it's Jewish people uh, losing their lives, all is because the root cause of all what is taking place, which is the formation of the State of Israel, the philosophy of Zionism, of building this occupation of Palestine on the account of all indigenous people living there. We have to realize what the root cause is and we have to rectify it. We have to admit that the occupation is wrong, the occupation is criminal, the occupation is causing so much death and destruction to everyone. Once we acknowledge that, we can start to sit down, wake up and realize what the solution is. The solution for a better future is to target the cause of the problem. We have to end the entire occupation. We have to uh, restore all rights to the indigenous Palestinian people. We have to uh, return, give, we have to grant the full right of return to all refugees. Let the indigenous population choose their own government. This will be in the favor of all involved 
including the Jewish people. Let's go! Judaism!